today we open an important, exciting chapter in our country's energy history. Our country has experienced serious energy challenges in recent times. Shortage of energy does not only cause enormous inconvenience to our people, it is a serious impediment to economic growth. The difficult economic global conditions and our energy shortage are a serious challenge for the South African economy. Today, we are gathered to say to our people, there is light at the end of the tunnel. In 2005, ESCOM was given a huge mandate to construct power stations to meet the country's energy demand. Now, I always like to underline this point because it is important to do so. Why only in 2005? Why didn't we have this power station all the time? That speaks to our history. Because energy was structured through the racial basis. And therefore, the economy was structured in the same way. Only with the democratic South Africa did we say we need enough energy for everyone for broader economic participation. That was the background in brief that made the government to take a decision. Because at times, we have a feeling we're just sitting, because we're lazy people or whatever. It was one of the important landmarks of changing the policy towards energy in our country. I'm sure many of you will recall that before 1994, everybody was told that there was more than enough energy in South Africa. It was even cheaper, because it was in abundance. But it was not true. That's the reason why 2005 a decision was taken. Very important to remember this because when we are faced with challenges, we simply think that South Africa was sleeping all the time. Only 2005 realized we need energy. No, it is because of a very peculiar history. Work began to build the power stations. Metupi in Limpopo, Kusile in Pumalanga, and Ingula in Guazulu Natal. All are at various stages of development. The Metupi power station, whose construction started in May 2007, is the largest coal fired power station in our country. It will also become the world's largest dry cooled coal fired power station. This is also the first base load station to be built in 20 years by ESCOM after Machuba power station. We have waited very long for this day to begin seeing some energy coming out of this station. And today, we are gathered to celebrate the official opening of Medubi Unit 6, the beginning of the commercial operation of Unit 6 has demonstrated that this project is making progress. Unit 6 adds 794 megawatts to the national grid. In this regard, its impact is already being felt countrywide. Pressure is being alleviated on the 
national electricity system to prevent or minimize load shedding. By the way, I was informed today we have not had load shedding for 20 odd days. This is a very important milestone in ESCOM's growth trajectory towards 4,800 megawatt capacity that must be achieved at the completion of the other five units. Compatriots and friends, today's launch of the Unit 6 phase makes it clear that Midup has been a catalyst of development in this area in a relatively short period. Midubi's megawatts contribution along with the 1,800 megawatts that is supplied by independent power producers will further strengthen the country's electricity supply and stimulate our economy. This will help achieve the projection made with regard to Mitubi that at its completion, it will directly grow South Africa's GDP by approximately 0.35% per year. The coming onto stream of Unit 6 takes place at a most opportune moment for our country during a difficult global and domestic economic climate. The GDP growth has contracted by 1.3% in the second quarter of 2015 after growing by 1.3% in the first quarter of 2015. Growth contracted in all sectors except for personal services and general government services. 